Beneath the waters, there exist things that are lost to history. Ancient things. Things that shouldn't exist. Pointing to an intelligent civilization overwhelmed by sky events in the remote past. Stones beneath Lake Michigan are arranged in a circular pattern and are believed to be over 10,000 years old. Divers also found a picture of a mastodon carved into one of the stones, extinct for 10,500 years. Wait till you hear this. How can this be? Isn't it obvious that this must have been an important site? But why is it underwater? When did it go under the water? Are we looking at a structure engulfed when the Great Flood came down? An ancient mini Stonehenge stands underwater in the Grand Traverse Bay, part of Lake Michigan. Mark Hawley, a professor of underwater archaeology at Northwestern Michigan University, and he discovered the site when he was looking for shipwrecks in the area, which was a busy 19th and 20th century maritime trade route. Mark first came across a rock that he said bears a prehistoric carving of a mastodon, and on further investigation, he discovered a Stonehenge-like arrangement of ancient stones. There is an outer ring of stones about 40 feet in diameter, and an inner ring of stones about 20 feet in diameter, both made of local granite. They stand 40 feet below the water's surface, and the stones are some 9,000 years old, making this one of the oldest structures ever discovered in North America. At that time, the lake bed was dry. There are also a number of stones arranged in a line, over one mile in length. The exact location of the structure is yet to be revealed. The researcher pointed out that many experts would prefer to investigate such stones in person to authenticate them, but that these experts aren't necessarily trained scuba divers, which has slowed down the authentication process. But what do you guys think about this mini Stonehenge and this image of a mastodon below the lake, Michigan? Comments below, and thank you for watching.